Waseniaje karibuni kwenye Youth in Agriculture. Jina langu ni Marion Munyao Nganga. Na leo niko kwa shamba yenye kwa hapa baba dogo Nairobi inaitwa The Delight Farm Africa. Mkulima mwenye ametuleta hapa anaitwa Morris, ako 31 years old. Na imagine bado kwa kwa sekta ya real estate lakini bado ameniambia hawajachana na story ya ukulima ndio maana anafanya mushroom. Hii hapa ni button mushroom. Morris ametoka kwa Mycelia Foods Limited. Sasa tuendeni tukamit na karibuni kwenye show. Morris alikuwa busy kiasi lakini saa hii ametuambia ako sawa ready kutongelesha kusu mushroom button mushroom to be specific na by the way usishangae mbona hii light ni nakagiza giza kidogo utakuja kuelewa mbona mushroom inahitaji dark place ndio iweze ku grow na hii place by the way inaitwa grow room Morris yes. thank you so much for having us manzi umepiga luku kama kawa hii ndio inakwanga luku ya wakulima <laughs> eh hey, wakulima squeeze <laughs> squeeze hatutaki mchanga mingi sana ah. Zana na kuvuna na nini eh. kupanda tunaoga na tuna tuna tunatokea sasa mtaa eh hey, yes. asante sana sasa kabla hujaanza shughuli ya mashu mlikuwa yes. na do Well mimi nimekuwa mm. nimekuwa kwa agri business eh. uh, lakini nilikuwa nafanya pia real estate yeah. uh, nilikuwa na kampuni ya real estate eh. so bado na nangangana tu nayo uh, na agri business nimekuwa na ventures kiasi yeah. uh, niko na kahawa uh -huh. uh, na sasa niko kwa mushrooms uh -huh. yes sasa so, uh, wakati ulikuwa mtu hii by the way ulikuwa na fikiria siku moja utakuja ku interact na mushroom kama <laughs> ilikuwa anga chakula ya wadosi not at all in fact eh. mushrooms mimi ingeongelelewa singefikiria ni food itakuliwa na wasei hii oh. story ulisikia wapi Well in fact <laughs> unasikia watu wanaitanga destiny connectors mimi nilikuwa naenda tao shughuli zangu uh, nilikuwa nimepanda mat uh, so kando yangu ikakuja tulikuwa pale pale kwa dere uh, kando yangu ikakema lady akaka karibu na mimi alikuwa kwa simu all through akiongea stories za strawberry nini na hiyo time nilikuwa na interest sana kufanya strawberries so venye alimaliza ndio nikamuuliza hebu nieleze eh, more about strawberries nikaje excuse kwake nikamwambia sorry for interruption lakini nimesikiza ukiongea about strawberries and eh. i want to farm strawberries so akanielezea eh <laughs> akanielezea about eh. strawberries alafu akaniambia leave strawberries kuna venture nyingine ninaanzisha na hiyo ndio naona itakuwa more lucrative hata kuliko strawberries so nikamuuliza ni gani hiyo eh. ndio kaanza kuona ni mushrooms mm -hmm. ni mushrooms mimi nikakuwa back to, ah, yeah. okay Uh, nikakuwa sawa I'll be willing to to listen uh, so the it was on a monday yeah. wednesday ilikuwa nafuata eh. alikuwa sasa anaenda kwa hiyo kampuni ilikuwa uh, mm. alikuwa anaenda kulan pia yeye hata exactly. yako anajua mm. uh, so tukaenda pamoja uh, on that wednesday to learn and that is how the interest grew nilikuwa na savings kiasi nikaanza production lakini <laughs> zangu za kwanza mbili zilifail mbaya sana mzee <laughs> 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 eh, juu nilikuwa <laughs> wasi tulikuwa nao hako anaelewa story ya mashu mzee mashu ni technical sana haitaki yeah. atusome tu hivyo ukuje umeanza nataka uko na training lakini sasa ulikuwa unataka kwa nini wakati ulikuwa mtoto well i wanted to be a pilot i wanted to be a pilot lakini story zangu za kuwa pilot nilikuwa tu ndio niende philippines wajo hiyo time to keep to keep grow tulikuwa na shows mingi sana za Philippines za KTN eh za KTN eh tu zinaweza naona sana za Philippines kina ina kina what not so mimi nilikuwa nataka ni fly huko nikao ni warembo juu nilikuwa naona wako sawa so wanted to be a pilot na niweze kufa kwenda at global yani niweze ku travel far and wide lakini hiyo interest ya kuwa pilot ikakujisha lakini recently nimekuwa na interest ya kuwa pilot wa drone kwa hivyo itakuja tu iki combine utasomea drone Unaweza unganisha drone yes, na farming na kuzile kali kama zinyesi na kongo kwa youth in agriculture. Hapo sawa. Vile inafaa eh? <laughs> yes. Sasa niambie ini mushroom ina gani kwanza? Yes. So eh. hapa mm -hmm. uh, tuko the light Africa mushroom farm. Uh -huh. uh, na ndio tuna grow tumewa contract because we as mycelia tunafanya contract farming. Uh, yes tuna tuna contract farmers tunalima nao mashamba pamoja maana yake demand ni mingi yeah. na tukiwa myselia production yetu itoshi so hapa ile farm tuko tuko baba dogo na wanalima button mushrooms yeah. na button mushroom ya, yake ni ile ya white unajua kuna nyingine ya brown sasa yeah. hapa tunalima ile ile ya white so white button mushrooms white na brown ni gani in fact ni ni, ni strain tu strain tu ndio tofauti strain ni nini strain as in ni, ni type Oh, ni sub, oh sub my god eh uh -huh. <laughs> ni sub type yake ina kwa tofauti kidogo mm -hmm. inaitwa brown mushroom na macremini mm -hmm. so hapa tunalima white mushrooms yeah. uh, on a space venye unaona ka space vile ni kadogo hiyo ndio beauty ya mushrooms by the way beauty ya mushrooms is that eh. 
it, you, it, we, we can do urban farming. Mm. Unaweza limia tao. Mama alituko tuko baba dogo. Katikati ya yeah. mabuilds ngumeziona ukikam. Mm. So hiyo ndio beauty yake. Mm. Eh hapa tunalima button mushrooms na pia ameanzisha pia na oyster mushrooms. So hizo oh. ndizo variety sana mbili zinakuliwa Kenya. Kuna oyster na kuna button. button yes, na oyster. Mm. Pound for pound, mm. oyster is more nutritious than button. Lakini wase wanaelewa button sana. Pound for pound ni <laughs> Leo okay. tanipeleka pole pole <laughs> eh. Kilo kwa kilo. Ukizitukanisha. Eh, eh atukiwe na kilo moja ya button na kilo moja ya oyster. Yeah. Oyster itakuwa na nutrients mingi kuliko button. Lakini wazungu wakikuja unajua hizi mm-hmm. ni exotic. Yeah. In fact wase wa, wa, wa western wana niulizanga ile kienyeji au na ile kienyeji. <laughs> hii ni exotic. Jamani wanachoma. <laughs> <laughs> Nijui hiyo ndio wame grow wakikula uh-huh. so hiyo ndio wanakuja kutafuta hata huko tao. Uh-huh. Lakini sasa hivi tunaambia tuko na zile exotic. Yeah. So venye wazungu walikuja walituletea button. So button ndio inajulikana sana. Chill kiasi. Umesema kampuni yako inaitwa Mycelia. Mycelia and Foods Limited. Hizi ni imetoka wapi? Hizi ndio nasikia ni kisanti kisanti vikivi. <laughs> pia ni exotic. Uh-huh. Mycelia uh-huh. ina maana mushrooms. Yeah. As in uh-huh. uh, ni vegetative stems ya mushroom. Eh uh-huh. uh, ni kama roots ya mushroom mahali inatokea. Kwa grow bag ama kwa kwa pane kwa hapa kwa pane unaona kuna, kuna kuna filaments za white zinazunguka substrate yetu. Uh-huh. So hizo filaments ndio zinaitwa mycelia. Yeah. Ikiwa moja mycelia. Uh, yes, so hapo ndio tutaji na yetu. Utapata wengine wanajiita makuno organics yeah. na sisi wanajiita mycelia and foods limited. Aso mungeze jina foods limited. Yes. Kumanisha mnafanya anything to do with yes. from farm to plate. Farm to plate, uh-huh. tuko na value added products, uh, tuna tuna uh, tuna dry mushrooms yetu, uh-huh. alafu tuna meal into powder. So hii powder unaweza itumia kwa vitu mingi sana ikikuja ni foods. Uh-huh. Unaweza itumia kama seasoning uh-huh. na unaweza itumia kama unaweza itumia kama fortifier. Uh-huh. As a seasoning ukipika meal yako ya ya maybe kama kanyama hivi, uh-huh. unaka fry vizuri, unaongeza a tablespoon of the mushroom powder to thicken the gravy. Uh-huh. So inakupea a different flavor yeah. na bado unapata nutrients. Ukipata nutrients za nyama, sasa unaongezewa na nutrients za mushrooms pia. Mushroom iko na nutrients gani mori? Iko na nutrients kibao, iko na protein 30% of it ni ni ni, ni iko na protein. Mm-hmm. Alafu iko na vitamin D. Other than beans mm-hmm. na the sunlight, mm-hmm. another source of vitamin D mushroom. ni mushrooms. Yes. Mm-hmm. Iko na selenium na iko na folate. Haya ndio hizo majina zingine zenye kama. Hizo zinasaidia na nini jua? Folate ni vitamin B9. Ah. Uh, B9 inasaidia na bones. Uh, bones na mm-hmm. selenium ni antioxidant. So ukikua ukikula vitu zani vitu mbaya ambavyo uko na toxins kwa mwili and then you feed on mushrooms inasaidia kudetoxify. Mm-hmm. Unatoa hizo toxins uh, detox eh, na kudetox. Detox na uh, detox. Zote. Eh? Yes. Okay. Uh, iko na anti-inflammatory properties mm-hmm. uh, ukiwa mtu wa kufura fura nini au ukiwa na ailments zenye zinafanya uko na, na uko na unafura yeah. ukikula mushrooms inasaidia na hiyo. And then kuna variety zingine kama akina allowance men mm. uh, akina shitaki akina mm. akina ganodama hizo ziko na anti cancer properties okay. lakini hizo bado research bado zinafanywa mm. uh, yes siko na jo mushroom ina help ku prevent cancer yes zinasaidia sana in fact mm. it, it time ya ya, ya it time ya corona yeah. time ya covid yeah. ndio mushroom bo, ime boom sana because inasaidia sana ku build immunity. Yes. Sasa unajua kuna mushrooms pia zenye ni panga eh. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay zote ni panga, panga yes, sio? Lakini panga. kuna zingine zenye ni uh-huh. harmful to our yes. health. Yes, yes, Mtu yes, anaezaje yes. ku differentiate ile edible yes. na ile poisonous? Ina ile poisonous. Mm. Sana sana wild mushrooms ziko zote. Kuna edible na kuna poisonous. Na zingine zinafanana aziweze kuleka. In fact Uh, awa sio wa western uh, ukiwapelekea button wanakuambia pana hii kwetu atukulangi juu na kuanga poisonous yeah. lakini tunao educate tunamwambia pana mm. hii ni for human consumption uh, spoon yake ama mbegu yake imetengenezwa ndio ikuliwe na, na watu yeah. kuna zingine bado zinakuwa propagated uh, zikiwa poisonous lakini hizo ni za kutengeneza pesticides mm. so zetu how to, dete- to identify mm. kuja kwetu utazipata <laughs> utapata zile mm. uh, za human consumption mm-hmm. usiende kuforage huko kwa forest because mm. you might not you might leave to tell us kama haikuwa poisonous ama ilikuwa nini hauwezi mm. tuambia uh, so ni vizuri mtu uh, afuate zenye ziko branded na zenye ziko kwa super sana sana umetaja terminologies nyingi sana yes. spoon <laughs> sudi mara nini yes, yes, but ndio yes. mushroom ifike hapa uh-huh. inahitaji nini at the so, first stage okay kuna process kadhaa yes. uh, nitaongelea kuhusu ya button yeah. unahitaji ku compost yeah. your substrate substrate ni ile media utatumia ku grow na kama venye tukipana mahindi kuna mchanga hmm. so that is a substrate ya kukuza mahindi but now for button mushrooms tunatumia wheat straw uh, ama tunatumia pia rice husk Uh, kuna watu wanatumia rice husk. Wheat straw na rice husk. Yes. Kwa mtu ambaye hajui wheat straw ni nini? Wheat straw ni nyasi ya ngano. Nyasi ya ngano. Na ngano ikishavunwa, mm. uh, ile nyasi inabaki. Yeah. Ikidry, 
in iko na nitrogen mingi sana that's the main reason to nitumia uh -huh. juu nitrogen content yake iko juu yeah. na mushroom ina feed off from uh, uh, nitrogen from the substrate mm -hmm. so unakusanya substrate yako alafu sasa ndio unaanza ku compost tuna compost kwa nini because mushroom ni secondary as well button ni secondary decomposer because haiwezi kula kitu haiwezi kula food from uh, dry dry matter hivyo you have to compost it first yeah. ndio iweze ku access food yake uh, so una compost unachanganya na chicken manure molasses uh, cotton seed cake na mop yeah, chicken yes. manure chicken manure uh -huh. is it, it uh, like advisable to use that specific manure ama pia unaweza tumia ya ngombe uweze tumia ngombe uweze tumia mbuzi uweze tumia ya nguruwe lakini unaweza tumia horse Eh yeah. uh, host manure na chicken manure. Na nyoo kulimo mushrooms umeomoka. Ni kweli. It is true because uh, yeah, nitrogen ammonia na nitrogen content pia because itasaidia kukata hii nyasi yetu yeah. ya ngano mm -hmm. itafastisha ita ku compost uh, ita, ita mm -hmm. and then itakuwa na ammonia yenye pia inasaidia ku compost zaidi. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the main reason ya kutumia hizo. Especially sasa uh, unakumbuka tuki compost Uh, kuna moshi ilikuwa inatoka after a mm -hmm. few weeks mm hiyo -hmm. moshi ni juu kuna kuna activities inaendelea huko ndani ina breakdown so kuna microbes ziko huko ndani ama organisms yeah. zinasaidia ku breakdown so ziki breakdown inatoa steam inakuwa mm -hmm. moto sana so hiyo ndio process ya ku compost it takes about a month mm -hmm. ku compost uh, ukiongezanga maji and then ukienda kumalizia yeah. unaweka gypsum ya yeah, light Ah gypsum hapana <laughs> inakuwa in powder form. Sasa before oh, uchanganye na maji na nini iende kufanya hizo molds, uh -huh. uh, before that inakuanga in powder form. Yeah. So unachukuanga kwa kwa ukulima uh -huh. inatusaidia na pH control na na pia ku, ku draw out maji moisture. Yeah. Saka substrate yako ilikuwa na moisture mingi, uh -huh. weke gypsum uh -huh. itasaidia uh -huh. uh, ku balance ile maji na pH iliko hapo ndani. Uh -huh. Yes. Stage next ni gani? Stage next uh -huh. ni incubation. Yeah. Sasa uh, una pasteurize substrate yako mm -hmm. uh, unaipasteurize na ku steam. Mm -hmm. Una steam ndio uwe sasa pathogens zenye ziko ndani na maugonjwa yeah. na other seeds mm -hmm. uh, zenye zine, kama hiyo ya wheat kama kuna kama moja kalianguka huko ndio isi grow hapo ni mushroom zenye ita grow. So ukisha pasteurize mm -hmm. unateremsha temperatures mm -hmm. to between 23 and 26 mm -hmm. uh, degrees Celsius ndio unaweka spawn mm -hmm. ama mbegu kwa process nyingine ndio kuinoculate. Goje hapo. Leo tunasoma kuhusu mushroom tuko hapa na Morris baba dogo tuko kwa shamba ya The Delight Farm Africa na ametueleza mengi kuhusu mushroom what you require to grow the mushroom. Na by the way tuko hapa kwa grow room bado tutajaja tueleza sababu ya kukua kwa grow room na ina umuhimu gani kwa mushroom lakini baada ya break manze atatushow. Keep it KTN home and remember this is youth in agriculture.